Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, we're going to discuss and show you in-depth tests regarding using these MacBook Pros with an external 4K monitor. So right here, I've got Chrome with a video of YouTube 1080p. I've got OBS to record the screen of this uh, 4K display. I've got the iOS simulator running with Xcode in the background. And I've got a bit of a Final Cut Pro over here. And in short, <laughs> the 16 inch and the 13 inch, they're about the same. I've been testing it with OBS, with Final Cut Pro, with Xcode programming, running Chrome with a video in the background. And yeah, they are about the same. The one to get, I suggest, is the 16 inch if you're thinking about connecting to an external display. And there you go, 12 minutes in, we can see that our fans have reached 5,100, which is its maximum of the fans on this model, MacBook Pro. 6,000 and it's hit its maximum fan speed and that's with Chrome running in the background, simulator running in the background and video editing running in the background too at the same time. Now this is the base 16 inch, the i7, not the i9 model, the i9 model does go a bit hotter faster. There are ways around it. Now the ways around it are disabling turbo boost, with that disabled the fan speed goes down. Now one thing you can do to the calm down the fans of the MacBook Pro is launch an app called Turbo Boost Switcher. And if you make sure that Turbo Boost is disabled, yeah. you can see over here that the CPU is no longer going four gigahertz, but it's going its base clock speed, which in this model is the 2.6 gigahertz. So after around two minutes, the fans have now dropped below 5,000 RPMs. So with all this activity, it still looks fluid on the screen. The fans have now dropped to 4,900 revs per minute and they're still dropping. And this is with Turbo Boost disabled. Also, what you could do is use a stand. So just have your laptop slightly raised like this. I've got a nice video review of a product called M Stand, which is nice and raised and it does keep the laptop cooler. And also what you can do is close the lid on your laptop. It actually makes the laptop run cooler and it actually sounds quieter. Reasons why, instead of having to drive two displays, you're only driving one display. Of course, you'll need an external keyboard, you'll need external speakers, external mouse. I went through all of that in my videos. I'll leave a link in the description below. But in short, they run about the same. Now, for extra bonus information, this one does get ever so slightly hotter than the 16 inch, about one degree hotter when it's fully stressed out. You can see we're going around 44 and a half and we're getting around 45 degrees. Interestingly enough, the temperature on the CPU is jumped straight away to 85 degrees centigrade. And it's just a YouTube video playing back and recording on OBS. CPU wise on OBS, it's using 18.5% of the CPU and it's just recording at 1080p. Now it's shot up to 90 degrees Celsius, 91 degrees. Whereas the 16 inch would remain around 70 degrees during OBS recording and Chrome video playback. And also what you need to know is uh, this one isn't as powerful as the 16 inch. For example, when it's running Chrome, OBS, Xcode and Final Cut Pro all at the same time, it becomes choppy. You can see visually that the video playback is a lot more choppier than the 16 inch, which can handle it like a champ. Temperature is rising to 90 degrees and playback inside Final Cut Pro isn't as smooth as it once was. I did also try running it through an eGPU and yeah, unfortunately it was still ramping up the fan speed when it was just doing too much processing so it didn't alleviate the strain there. All right, this time we have the output running via an eGPU onto our display and the fan seems to have just shot up to its max. Of course, if you just do one application at a time, it will utilize less stress and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to see how much, if there was a difference between the two. Other minor differences is that when you're just doing really simple basic stuff, for example, OBS recording with Chrome running in the background, the fans on this one sounded ever so slightly quieter than the 16 inch, but they were, to be honest, just about the same, just about the same in all the facets I've seen. I haven't seen anything special that they've done with the 2020 MacBook Pro that gets me excited for this 2020 16 inch MacBook Pro. So yeah, fan noise city is a facet of these computers, especially when running it through an external display. But like I said, get a raised stand, put your laptop on there, run it in clamshell mode with the lid closed 
And uh, for bonus, you can run it through an eGPU to help out slightly in the graphics. However, if you use too much of the CPU, you're not gonna get an added benefit from the fan speed. Hope you found this video useful. I know a lot of people have been wondering if the 13 inch would be a better product for connecting to an external display and for my tests it is just about the same as the 16 inch but of course slightly slower. Hope you guys found this video useful. Are you excited for the new upcoming Apple products this year? iMac maybe might be cool but as always hope you guys enjoyed the show.